Hey YouTube, it's Joni from SimpleLivingMama.com and today I want to show you guys how we fit three kids in one bedroom. So we are a largish family. We have six kids, um, ages nine and under, and we recently moved to a new home and it's, it's bigger than the other house that we had, but um, the bedrooms are still a similar setup. And I just wanted to show you guys uh, what that looks like for our family because I know a lot of people are interested in, you know, if you have multiple kids, how do you make it work? Does each kid get their own bedroom? Um, if not, how do they share a bedroom? Because this, these are questions that I actually get asked on a regular basis, like how many bedrooms does your house have and all of that. So um, I definitely wanted to try to uh, talk about that and talk about how that works in our house. So we do have a four bedroom house. Um, the way that it's set up though is that the fourth bedroom is kind of like um, an over the garage type apartment type thing. And for us, it's just not feasible to have a child um, separated uh, because, you know, our oldest child is only nine years old. We wouldn't feel, feel comfortable with him being away from the main house, I guess you would say. So, um, yeah, we've got all six kids spread out across all three bedrooms. And I say that because our youngest is eight months old and he is in our bedroom. So... Um, our three boys share a room and our two girls share a room. And um, I just went through and did some decluttering and organizing. Let's see if I can do something about this lighting in here. It's definitely not perfect, um, but I think that the way that I've got it set up right now is good for us. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you what their room looks like. All right, so here is an overview of our boys' room. There is a TV in here. I'm not crazy about them having a TV. Um, they can watch DVDs because there is a DVD player there. Uh, my husband just thought that they should have a TV in their room and that's something that, you know, we didn't necessarily agree on, but that's just the way that it happened. And honestly, they don't really watch a lot of TV right now. Um, but if they need to come in here and watch a movie or whatever, they have that option. Here is one dresser. This is obviously an old beat up dresser um, that I've had for a long time. And my oldest son uses this dresser and all of his clothes are in there. This is where my three-year-old sleeps. This is his little bed and obviously you can tell what types of things that he likes. And they have a train table and my kids are obsessed with Legos. So there's like Legos all over the place in here. Um, I've got some bins underneath with more Legos. And yeah, that's their little train table that they usually just use to play with their Legos. My son's pirate ship. And then over here is their bunk bed. I do. What we're gonna end up doing, um, as you can see, the, the railing needs to be replaced there. What we're gonna end up doing is um, getting two new sets of bunk beds. So um, when my youngest son joins his brothers in the bedroom, they will each have their own set of bunk beds. And we will probably end up doing something else with the dressers. Not entirely sure what we're gonna do. They have a little table they have road rugs. So my nine-year-old sleeps on the top bunk and my five-year-old sleeps on the bottom bunk and that old <laughs> bed rail is there just to keep him from falling out, which he has never even come close to falling off of the bed, so that's fine. He has his own little shelf with his trophies and he likes cats, so he's got some, some cat posters there. This is, um, the dresser that my other two boys share. So um, they each have one of the top small drawers and then they each have two of the bigger drawers with some of their little knickknacks and things. The closet, um, our boys are involved in Awamas and Scouts and they like to go to the Home Depot workshops. So they have all that stuff hanging there. And then over here on this wall is, um, 
a cube storage thing with all of their Lego creations there on top. They have a book shelf, little shelf, which doesn't have many books in it right now. Most of our books are out in the living room or in our school room. Um, this is my oldest son's bin with his own personal Legos and his books that he doesn't want anybody messing with. And then I think this is just a miscellaneous bin with some things in it. And then um, they like little toy animals. So they have a whole bin full of toy animals. And then inside their closet, um, we have this thing full of some miscellaneous items, slippers, helmets, and such. Um, my oldest son has one side of the closet with his nicer shirts. And we have some science toys stored up there. He really likes snap circuits and some other Lego sets and his Lincoln Logs. And then over here, I think I just have some extra linens. They're not very organized, obviously. Somebody shoved a Nerf gun up there and then some camping equipment, backpacks, little boys, nicer shirts. And then down in here, this is where they keep their bigger toys. They have um, this track and then like the fire truck and some bigger trucks. I think most of their cars are in this bin right here. Um, backpacks and such. This, this bin right here has dress up clothes in it. And there's a science kit back there. And then this, <laughs> now that I'm doing this, I'm like, ah, oh, there seems to be so many toys. But this is where they keep some other toys that we probably can go through. As you can see, they've pulled stuff out and already unorganized it for me and threw them over here. So my son has this robot and Star Wars spaceship thingy and then another couple of backpacks. We use backpacks when we travel or when we go out with friends on nature adventures. And yeah, that's it. That is the extent of the boys' stuff. So I already did quite a bit of um, decluttering in here. And like I said, I probably need to do a little bit more. Um, the dressers are anchored to the walls. I'm really particular about making sure those don't go anywhere. Um, let's see what else. Oh, here's their little table. The chairs are probably out in the living room. And we get tinker boxes for my oldest son, and he loves to put those little tinker boxes together. So there's one of his tinker boxes. And those actually go out in our homeschool room. That's where we usually keep like the pencils, the colored pencils, and the crayons, and the glue sticks. And it looks like we brought them in here to use them, which is okay. Oh, and this little bin over here is stuffed animals. Another tinker box that my son's been working on. And then this is a little food truck that my three-year-old loves. So it's got um, different little items in there. And he can roll it around and pretend like he's making food for everybody. So he really likes that. So that's it. Um, yeah, I will show you guys our other bedrooms in another video. So take care and we'll talk to y'all later. Bye.